Yo, what's going on guys, man? It's your boy, Dignified TW, and we're back with another video. Now guys, today we're bringing you finally a slasher build. I was getting a lot of requests for slashers. You guys know I love playing on my slasher builds, but today we're gonna bring you Prime Derek Rose. I'm gonna have some gameplay for you guys at the end of the video, just to mainly show you what kind of badges pop up in certain scenarios. You can watch the top right, right there, how many badges actually popped up. But you can see we're finishing like Derek Rose. We're gonna be bringing you the point guard Derek Rose build. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the video, man. If you're new, make sure you subscribe but we're gonna go ahead and get into it you can see the first thing that we picked right there is the pie chart with playmaking and finishing as the max little bars right there and of course we're gonna be picking a build with the max speed and acceleration and vertical because you know Derek Rose going up and down the court was something amazing to watch and you guys will see the badges that we put on them it's gonna make them play exactly like Derek Rose now I'll mention this and I've mentioned it before in my other videos and I'll leave a link to one of them that I've talked about it with right up here in the top right we're going to go ahead and max out everything that we need first because we don't want to have a lot of leftover badges or leftover slots because it's just going to be pointless. So like I said, my recommendation was to max out everything you need. Go back, start tinkering with it. And you'll notice when I start tinkering with things, how it's actually going to benefit me the most. But you can see at first, we went ahead and maxed out all of our finishing badges that we need. Now, we probably could have gone up a few more, but like I said, I want this build to play like Derrick Rose. I want to have a little bit of everything you guys know. The shooting probably fits him the best. He wasn't the most knockdown consistent shooter, but he can shoot the ball a little bit, probably like low 30. So that's not terrible, but it's not the best either. But you can see right off the bat, I'm done with my attributes. Now, this is not what I end up going with, guys. You can see I have 11 defensive badges. And overall, that would be a pretty good build to have. But you guys know, like I said, you want to go in back and make sure you start tinkering with things. You guys can see I'm going with the heights right here. Of course, Derrick Rose is probably like 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 and 6'3", you don't lose anything. 6'4", you start losing some like driving layups and some of your steals and like lateral quickness and stuff. So 6'3", definitely is the way to go. Now, I was sitting here thinking about it, going back and forth. And I was like, we do not need 11 of these defensive badges, especially having defensive rebounding all the way up. And I know you guys were watching that the whole entire time thinking I was crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and max out our uh, interior and perimeter defense. Now, I don't wanna get bullied or anything like that. And you can see at the very end, I could have got, like I said, I'm gonna go back and tinker things. I'm gonna go put up a little bit of the standing dunk so we can get 20 finishing badges. And then with the remaining stuff that I have, I just went ahead and threw it on shooting. Because you guys, like I said, Derrick Rose, not the best shooter, but you still want to have the, ap the capability to actually shoot the rock when you can, because this is a slasher build. You guys know every single year, people just like sit back on slashers in the paint, and we're gonna make them pay with it this year. If you have seven shooting badges, you should that should be way more than enough to actually get the job done. So now we're gonna go ahead and start tinkering with the weight again. Like you said, if you really wanna play like Derrick Rose, you can go ahead and like Google his weight and put it on there if you really wanted to. But at my standpoint, I wanna go with something that the lateral quickness is still pretty high, but I don't want to tinker with my acceleration and my speed. Strength doesn't matter as much as you guys think with guard builds, but for slashers, it matters just a little bit more. So you're actually able to, you know, get some contact dunks because strength does play a factor in that. But you can see if we go all the way down on our wingspan, guys, we're getting a 95 ball control, which is actually insane. You can see the takeover badges we're getting right here. We're gonna go with slasher, but we get slashing, point guard, we get the playmaking, and we get shot creator. And like I said, guys, this is gonna be a perfect example of Derrick Rose. You can see we're a slashing playmaker, similar to Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, John Wall, and that's actually insane. This build's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully this is the build that I'm gonna go with because I definitely wanna make a slasher build this year. I went with like a 6-7 last year. I think it would be pretty refreshing playing with like a 6-3 that's able just to dominate and dunk on everybody. And like I said, guys, we're gonna show you the badges to put on him. So you're actually gonna be able to finish around the rim. You're 6-3, mind you. So you're gonna be able to finish around the rim, dunk on people, and it's actually insane with what you guys can do. Now in my other videos, I do get a lot of slack people telling me you know why did you put this badge on why'd you do this why'd you do that and i'm going to show you gameplay like i said at the end and it's going to be a big factor it's going to show you guys a lot of the reasons why i end up going with the badges that i do now i'm going to show you guys right here what's the most important thing to do when you're making your builds is to go ahead and like a lot of you guys there's a lot of new badges this year so you want to go make sure you're reading them all carefully the thing i don't really like about all these badges is some of them sound exactly the same like this trapper and clamps and intimidator you don't really know which one is going to be the best my opinion i think intimidator is the best you can see i almost confirm it right here but i don't really know if i need like a tireless defender like i don't know if that's actually going to be a good thing 
you might need it but like i said if you're going to be playing park and you have like a lockdown or something on your team you probably don't need tireless defender like i said you can pre pretty much put anything you want you don't really need that kind of stuff like i said man defense is going to be big on 6-3 so make sure you read everything carefully next we're gonna go ahead with our playmaking and this is a little bit easier because there's gonna be some badges that you definitely want to have on hall of fame and i'm gonna show you guys real quickly right here off the get-go i'm not these are not what i'm using guys like at first i wanted to have dimer but i i thought about it i just thought like does dimer actually work is it worth having three of your little available upgrades dimer is a good badge floor general will be good if you're maybe like a general playmaker if you're playing pro-am or something like that floor general and dimer i'll probably recommend but as i go over here and read the downhill badge this is exactly how these like Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook people play. They get the rebound, they get the ball in the backcourt, and they're zooming off going insanely fast. So this is definitely something that we will need. Here, the stop and go badge, I put it on gold for now, but obviously I'm not going to keep it there. And I'm probably going to take away floor general right here because I'm kind of going ahead and reading everything. I go ahead and put quick first step on a Hall of Fame. And that's definitely something that you guys are going to want to go with. You'll notice in these gameplays how fast my character is actually going off these little first steps, a little, you know, uh, triple set threat size ups and all that kind of stuff like that. Your player is going to be going insanely fast, especially with 95 plus speed. It's crazy. I go ahead and put unpluckable on gold right here. I definitely think that is something that you guys will need if you're making a point guard build. Because if you don't have unpluckable on Hall of Fame or on gold, you're probably getting plucked every time. You see, I put the stop and go just because I don't know how effective that's going to be. But for like slasher builds and builds that can dribble and like slash towards the rim, I think that's a perfect badge to kind of mess around with it and actually see how good it is. And if it's not good, you can always take it away. That's what I like about this year. You can take it away, put it on somewhere else. Not sure what overall you have to be to actually able to do that. But again, right here, like I said, the shooting badges, you want to make sure you're using it at the right spot. You only get seven of them, but you still want to be able to shoot the ball a little bit to make sure that people don't just sag in the paint against you the whole entire time because that was a big problem last year. You can see I put difficult shots on gold. I think that's something that's going to be big to have. A lot of, like, you guys don't know, a lot of times, like, a lot of the badges pop up when you don't think they will. And difficult shots is definitely, like, one of those badges. If you do, like, a step back and shoot a three, difficult shots is popping up. It's going to help you a lot. But right here, I'm getting kind of confused. I have Tireless Shooter on. That's basically a Tireless score from last year. I put on Deadeye on Silver. So a lot of those fadeaways that I take, or if they contest late because they don't think I'm going to shoot it because I'm a slasher, Deadeye is going to pop up. It's going to help me a lot. So now we're on the very last upgrade. We've got 20 finishing badges, which I do think is the most important. Contact Finisher is something that you guys are going to want to have on. It's basically Posterizer from last year. You guys know Derek Rose slashes towards the rim finish is crazy and you guys saw for the first couple clips only the first couple that i'm just going and dominating inside of the paint finishing over the giants and i will show you right here a slithery finisher badge is definitely something that's going to make your time worthwhile i put giant slayer on gold and slithery finisher you're finishing around the rim very very nicely which is very it's actually insane how you're able to finish around the rim against centers i know it's only the demo but a lot of these badges, like I said, are going to pop up when you're going towards the rim right here. Go ahead and put Relentless on Hall of Fame. I think I'll go back and change it. Lob City Finisher, I think, is one of the underrated badges this year. A lot of people kind of relied on lobs. If you don't have, you know, at least this on bronze, I don't think you're going to be catching as many lobs as you would like. So I go ahead and put Acrobat on silver. I take one tick down on Relentless Finisher. Go ahead and put it on Acrobat. So we've got one Hall of Fame five golds and a bronze badge now you could probably take lob city finisher if you really wanted to away and put it like on giant slayer or relentless or fancy footwork any of the other badges you probably could go ahead and put it on hall of fame but i just wanted to make sure you know this is a prime derrick rose build he's able to slash towards the rim he's going to be able to dunk the ball catch lobs all that exciting stuff for you guys to watch so that's definitely something we had to go put on there now like i promised guys i'm going to show you some of these gameplays watch the top right corner this is the biggest thing like right off the catch right there boom first quick first step pops up handles for days i know these dribble moves aren't the best quick first step again going right off the blow by i kind of want to figure out how to do the stop and go because i think that's the only badge i didn't get to pop up i know there's probably like something on 2ku you can look at but i think that badge could actually be super overpowered if used correctly but you can see we're going off the triple thread right there doing a hop layup now, I didn't get too many like Euro step layups and dunks this year or on this game, but you can see the acrobat popping up, the downhill badge popping up, how fast you are. You can see how I'm just blowing by Steph Curry doing another little one of those hop dunks. And I'm telling you, man, if you want to be able to slash towards the rim and create space while doing it, 
You can see contact finisher popping up right there again. Downhill finisher, calling for the lob polish Jefferson, throwing it up. I'm able to catch it with two hands. Haven't seen too many lobs in here. But like I said, a lot of these badgers are super successful. You can see the hop duck again with contact finisher. We're just throwing it down, man. I'm telling you guys, the downhill badge right there is going to be activated. And you're just going to be able to get the craziest blow buys because I have heard that blow buys are pretty bad. They probably will patch them a little bit going into the final game, but there's always going to be blow buys in the game. You can see a quick cross right there, throwing it out. Relentless finisher pops up. A lot of people were actually telling me not to put Relentless on my guy. But you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Relentless pops up because I'm tired. And you will also notice in the top right, Giant Slayer is popping up. Now, that's a badge I think is going to help you finish more of the contact dunks. And you're going to be able to finish more of those layups. Especially if you have like Acrobat too. And it's going to be super nice. You can see I'm going to call for a quick ISO. You can see the vertical on my guy right there. Throwing it down with my left hand. I know I don't have my signature styles or anything like that on. But this is definitely going to be a build that I'm going to have a ton of fun on, man. It really does play a lot like Derrick Rose. You can see right here, going by Draymond with the hop layup. He had his rim protecting takeover. Only 8% contested, which is nice. And again, first quick or quick first step popping up, calling for an ISO. Don't really have any dribble moves. i got to kind of practice those myself. Handles for days popping up. Very tough, excellent release. You know, 22% covered layup, but Acrobat's popping up. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Like the badges that pop up. It's just going to make you finish the plays a whole lot easier. Quick first step coming again. And that's a prime Derrick Rose finish. That looked exactly like it. Changing the form in midair is actually crazy, guys. But if you did enjoy the video and you did enjoy the build, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new for daily 2K20 content. But I've been Dignified. I'm out. Peace.